All right guys, so I didn't think the vlog was gonna happen today, but Pivot Point rescued it. See what they said. Okay, so I guess we will be doing haircuts on mannequins for quite a while. Okay, so this is why this is my favorite mannequin from Pivot Point. First off, it's a solid mannequin. What that means is that the hair falls at one length. So there's a lot of different types of mannequins. The thing I love most about Pivot Point is they put a lot of thought uh, into making this as human-like as possible. So the hair is longer on the top than it is on the bottom. So when it falls down, it falls all at one length. So there's a lot of different types of mannequins you can see right here on the box. Let me see if I can focus in. So there's different types of mannequin heads, some that are longer on the bottom, shorter layers on top, Pivot Point makes all the different types, so whatever you're trying to practice, uh, it works out. This is my favorite one, and that's the reason why it's the Erica mannequin from Pivot Point. Now, this is Samuel. This is the male mannequin. And again, just like I like it, longer on top, shorter on bottom. So, um, another great mannequin. So we have some men's cuts and women's cuts that we can do. Uh, so thank you to Pivot Point for all of this stuff. I got a couple more packages. This one I'm excited about. This is from Mizutani. Okay, so a couple things here. This is a polishing cloth for your scissors. You should definitely have one of these. This is how you clean the blade. You don't clean the blade with a towel. You don't clean the blade um, with any rough surface because uh, because even though it's made of metal, doesn't mean that it's strong. So you definitely wanna have a cloth. And I also ordered these boxes, which I'm gonna do something fun on Instagram with. So make sure you check that out. Follow us on Instagram at Free Salon Education. Last thing, pretty excited to try this out. This is a new company. Hair Story, um, contacted them. I'm gonna try out this product. Definitely excited to see what it's like. But here you go, it's called New Wash. Um, so I'm gonna try it out. It's hair shampoo without detergent in it. So it's supposed to leave the hair nice and healthy and not damage the hair while washing it. Uh, their claim to fame right now is the fact that uh, we're actually damaging our hair when we shampoo it. So uh, I'm gonna try out New Wash. If you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see your thoughts on it. Um, I'm gonna try it out uh, as well and see what I think. So, all right. All right guys, so today's vlog is gonna be really fun because uh, focusing on a simple haircut, but the technique I think is gonna be very useful for you guys in the salon. So I get a lot of questions about layering fine hair. How would I go about that? How would I go about creating a thicker bottom and not removing too much weight? So we're gonna answer all of those questions in this step-by-step -step today. So um, here is the end result. So what we did was we created a lot of layering throughout the top, but what you're gonna notice is how thick and uh, full the bottom is. So this works for any guest that has fine to medium density hair. If they have thicker hair, it's not going to work as well, um, but it's a great technique for that. It's very simple. We also go about the haircut a little bit different than normal. So I want you guys to uh, stick it out till the end. You're going to really like it. Also, at the very end, I have a pretty cool contest uh, for you guys uh, brought to you by Mainstream, which is a new app for hairdressers. So uh, definitely stick it out to the end and you'll find out all about that stuff. So so here we go with our step-by-step. -step. Hope you guys like it. Uh, any questions, post them in the comments below. Here we go. All right, so I want you guys to focus on the sectioning real quick. So the sectioning is a curved section throughout following the head shape. The reason I did that is because this whole haircut on the top is going to be based on the head shape. So I'm going to be cutting layers that follow the round of the head. So I just wanted to go through and create my sectioning that way because it's going to make workflow a lot easier later on. So now I'm gonna cut everything at a one length working the perimeter of the haircut. The reason I'm gonna work at a one length and, and why I can take this cut without doing multiple sections is we're working with fine hair. Because we're working with fine hair, I can take all of that hair down and cut it. What I'm trying to do is create a really thick, fat, 
blunt edge on the haircut. That's going to look great for fine hair. It's also going to build up a maximum amount of weight uh, throughout the haircut. So I'm just bringing everything down, cutting it parallel to my shoulders, and just working a really nice straight line. Keys to this to make sure if you want to do this kind of condensed cutting, um, first off, make sure she has fine to medium hair. You don't want to go any more extreme than that. And also, uh, just make sure that you comb multiple times, really working the base of the hair to make sure that you got every little hair exactly combed down the way that you want it. Um, so we're just going to keep our workflow going. I'm again cutting a parallel line using the back section as my guide or the previously cut section as my guide and just cutting it all at one length. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. This is a, a cool way to go about fine to medium hair. If you think about um, as we're cutting hair, usually we'll go through and do the entire haircut wet. I like to go through with fine hair and do the bottom cut and then blow it dry because first off, I already have it sectioned away. So it's saving me time because instead of going through doing the whole cut, then resectioning, then blowing dry, I've already got it sectioned off. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in there. We're going to use a flat wrap technique, a lot of leafing, uh, building up volume because we're not trying to make um, fine flat hair. So we go through a lot of lifting and polishing, working mostly on that base to mid shaft, and we'll hit the ends in a little bit. So just going through, polishing it up. The flat wrap technique really helps to get rid of any calyx. It helps make the uh, base of the hair very flexible. So it's a good technique to use. Now I'm going in with my Vibra Straight Iron. I'm working diagonal back sections, probably shift into vertical later, and just working the hair around the face. So a slight bend to the hair, mostly focused on mid shaft to ends because I've already polished it using the uh, polishing brush earlier. So I'm going through and just, just softening the ends. And this is something I may have to go through and do a little bit at the end. So that might be something that you guys are thinking right now. But, um, but polishing off the ends is going to help me get a more solid guide when I go through and do the rest of the cut. And then there'll be very little work at the end. So you can see how full that haircut already is. This is what I love about it. Now we're going to go through and do all the layering on the top. So we're going to blend that into the bottom. So all the short layers that we create are really just from parietal ridge up, which allows us to have, you know, those light layers, but it doesn't take away, it doesn't make the base of the hair skinny, which is what a lot of our fine hair guests struggle with. We're going to start off our layering in the crown. We're going to work vertical sections across straight out from the head. So we're really squaring off the back, um, keeping the, the layers nice and even, no over direction. So I'm going to be working my elevation at 90 degrees. So pretty much straight out from the head, uh, using a point cutting technique just to add a little bit of softness to the layers. Um, we did all the blunt edge on the bottom, so just want to add a little bit of movement to it. And my guide is coming from the low crown, high occipital bone area. So I just elevate the hair until I see that last little edge uh, right around the occipital bone um, fall out, and that's where I know to cut. So you can see that hair just kind of fall, and that's, that's a good indication that you've stretched that guide out to where it is. So just finishing up the crown, again, it's just straight off from the head. So it's no over direction, uh, just slightly to the previous section um, so that you keep a nice strong guide in there. So now we're going to move into what I would call like the sweet spot of the haircut. This is really what, what makes the haircut a little bit different. So look at my over direction. I'm over directing everything over top of the forehead. And what that's going to do is cut the shortest point at the forehead and push the longest point back off the face. So that is really my goal with this haircut is to add those nice light layers to the front but also keep nice heavy weight around the base. So this is what really makes the entire haircut. Now my over direction is everything to the center. So I'm over, so I cut my first guideline and then I over direct everything to it right over the center of the head, which gives me um, a little bit of over direction, which pushes some weight towards the sides as well. So this is all about keeping the weight on the haircut, but adding nice light layers. So somebody with fine hair can still have a lot of movement to their haircut. So you'll notice on, when I get to the other side, my body position didn't change, but the way that I'm pushing the hair did. So um, the, the top right side, I was pulling the hair towards myself, and then the, the, the left side, I'm pushing the hair away. 
So you can see how those layers just move throughout the haircut, but how we get that nice, still crisp heaviness on the bottom. Now I'm gonna go through, finish the blow dry and finish out the style. So um, again, this is a great time-saving technique for any haircut. If you cut the bottom, you blow it dry because you're already sectioned out. Then you cut the top, you blow it dry. Now you've saved, it takes me you know, two minutes to blow this dry and a couple minutes to iron it and, and we're good to go. So I hope you guys learned a lot from that technique alone. And, and then being able to cut this fine hair is definitely a huge benefit. So just going through polishing out with the Vibra Straight Iron again. Um, I got my YS Park 332 comb. Uh, I think for the entire haircut, just to do a little bit of a tool breakdown, I did use the uh, Mizutani Type Z2 scissor. Uh, it's a six inch blade and it has the nano powder metal steel, which basically means that it's made up of smaller molecules that are very even, so you get a nice crisp cut. So we're finished this off, Bricado hairspray, um, then I brush it back and just get that movement in there. I like that it kind of has a lived in look to it, but you can see those layers, how they stack up, but it's still nice and full. Hope you guys like this cut, let me know, thanks. All right guys, so like always, if you like the video, share it with your friends. Also hit the like button below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. A lot of you guys are watching this video and not subscribing, I don't understand why. I'm putting out a video constantly, so make sure you go do that. Hit that subscribe button, it's really simple. Also, I got an email from the people of Mainstream uh, just today, and we're gonna start a contest, which I'm really excited for you guys. Now, what Mainstream is, is an on-demand beauty app. What that's gonna do is allow you to uh, offer services above and beyond the services that you're offering now. So if as a salon, I want to offer weekend blow dries uh, on site, I can do that through the uh, on-demand beauty service app and my salon brings in the revenue. Also, as a stylist, if you're looking to work on your days off or on your off hours and make a little bit extra money, then you can do that as well. So there's a lot of different options. The industry is moving very independent. So if you're an independent stylist, it's a great way to get some exposure and all that. So enough talk, I think you get the point. Now here's the deal. So all you have to do to join the contest is when you sign up via the app, you select Matt Beck under the drop down menu uh, so they know where you came from. That enters you into the contest and then they'll track every single one of you guys and pay out the first five to complete 10 transactions by May 30th. So all you have to do is do hair like we always do, do 10 transactions on mainstream and you win $200. So they're gonna pay out um, $1,000 worth of prizes to the top five people that go on there and download it. So the link is below. All you have to do, download the app, sign up your profile, create uh, your portfolio. It's really simple. It's like it's just like signing up for any social media site there is. And from there, you are in the contest. It's a cool thing, guys. Um, I'm definitely excited uh, to see where the future goes with that type of technology. Go do the contest. Again, the link's below. Also, check out everything that we have to offer on freesaloneducation.com. Thank you for supporting the vlog, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.